We're extremely happy to announce that the new Duma OS 4 firmware update is now available for all R3 users. We know it's taken a long time to get here, and we'll be explaining the reasons why in this video. But if you're just here for the update, there's a download link in the description below. The firmware update will also be rolled out to the R3's automatic update over the next few days, so you'll be able to upgrade to the new firmware using the one-button update within Duma OS. So, why has the update taken so long to be ready? Our original plan was to release lots of small firmwares shortly after the release of the R3 based on user feedback. But we hit a bit of a blocker. Our hybrid VPN feature took some time to prepare and during closed beta testing our testers were catching lots of niche issues. But they were impactful enough that we wanted to fix them all instead of rushing an update out. The plus side of this is we've been able to release a much larger firmware update with loads of improvements and fixes that puts us on a great footing to get far more frequent updates out to you. Some of these may just have small changes, but we've also been working on some big new features behind the scenes which we will be launching this year. Our aim with the R3 has always been to create the best gaming router on the market. We've only got this far because of our amazing community that provides great feedback on our products, so we'd love for you to download this new firmware update and let us know how you get on and what else you would like to see improved or added. Here's a quick summary of what's included in this firmware update. Stability and performance improvements for GeoFilter, SteadyPing, Smart Boost, and Ping Optimizer. The addition of the hybrid VPN feature. This allows you to run a VPN through your router so you can choose which devices or applications your VPN is applied to. This lets you run a VPN on usually difficult devices like games consoles and smart TVs. The addition of UPnP Relay. This allows you to get open NAT with no additional configuration. It also solves the double NAT issue that some users have reported. A huge range of bug fixes for an overall better quality of life with the R3. You can find everything included in this firmware update in the changelog linked in the description. Last but certainly not least, we have some good news for R2 users. The Duma OS 4 port to the R2 will soon be in closed beta testing. It's too soon to give any kind of time frame, but the added stability of this update should make the port a lot more straightforward. Whether you're an R3 or R2 user, the best place to keep up to date with the status of Duma OS is our Twitter page. So make sure to follow us so you don't miss out on any information about your router. And that wraps up this video. Thank you for your continued patience with this update and we hope it lives up to your expectations. Feel free to drop any questions or feedback down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.